we really think about end users uh, need to have an easy way to do customizations and automations. And that's basically because there is data. What am I supposed to do with that? Well, I want to uh, organize the data. I want to like track something. I want to uh, make sure that when people come to the list, they're able to see the things the way they are supposed to see. If something is important, I want to highlight that. Um, so things like that, we really want to have end users um, feel that these are really simple things and intuitive things that you can go configure. So we're making ton of investments in that area. So simple customization, uh, we started with really giving um, power users the ability to format list columns and views through JSON, right? And we know uh, it has got ton of usage, people love it. Um, even people that are not uh, familiar with JSON, we saw them getting uh, up to date with JSON and basically working through the quirks and we saw an awesome community participation. We have GitHub repos with columns and view examples, format as examples. So uh, we went to the next step uh, in, a, in SharePoint conference we started and showed you how we are using now the same JSON but driving the end user productivity by giving them the user experience in list so you don't have to really type JSON. So we are adding a ton of improvements to that uh, project going forward. So you can see that we have some options like conditional color coding, a rule builder that you can use to build rules and drive uh, formatting through that. We also have rich text capabilities uh, uh, as well for applying formatting. So if you want to change the font, if you want to apply borders. So I'll show you a demo that will make more sense. We're also making improvements to having simple customizations available out of the box in the list forms. So you don't have to go to Power Apps to do those simple things. Now, those simple things could be, um, you know, many different things that you might think about, and you can categorize uh, simple or hard. But we're starting with three important things that we have heard from customers every time we talk about this. Uh, reordering the fields, right? I want to reorder the fields in the form. I want to show hide fields because I don't want the uh, this field to show up when I am entering uh, or editing the form, but I do want to see that field in the view. And finally, you also have the ability to conditionally show height fields. It's not just about uh, showing and hiding, but I do want to have this field show when another column value is equal to something, right? A very uh, typical scenario that we see every day that list users go through. So we're, we are uh, adding those features. Today, I think you should have reordering the fields available, at least in your targeted release tenant or first release. Uh, very soon, it will be available for all production tenants. Uh, reorder and show height fields. The conditional show height field is slated for uh, Q1 next year. So let's go to the demo. So here I have a list with features, um, pretty simple list, nothing um, uh, complex here. but. If I want to make this list now more uh, feature-rich with the ability to let people know how these every row item is going to affect based on, let's say, uh, review date, I can do that very easily with the conditional formatting. So alternating row styles was something that we saw, but let's look at conditional formatting, right? And here, as soon as I go, I have the option to add rules. Now, there is a rule for all values, right? Let's add a rule and say, if the review date um, is before today. So you can see that how um, easily now I can do this without needing to go write a JSON. I can choose today, which is straightforward, or specific date if I want to pick a specific date. Let's just uh, choose today. And now I can add more conditions to it so that I can do AND and R. Uh, but also now I get the option to decide how that row will look, right? So I can click the pencil icon to edit, and I can say, well, I want it to be sort of uh, red and, and teal and orange. But now I have the option of more styles. So if I do more styles, I get more options, obviously, with the more styles uh, wording. I can configure the font. I can do bold, so it's much uh, nicer when you look at with the background color. If I want, I can change the color of uh, the text too, so let's put it red. I can also have a border, right? And I can put the border uh, style here as well as the border color to be red. So really, really telling people that, hey, the review date is uh, way over the, the limit. 
And I can go back again, and you will see that uh, rule is over here. And for all values, I can say, yeah, that's fine. I can choose blue, right? And I can do the same thing. I can go into more styles. I can bold it. And if I want to, I can also give a border and, and just have a color to it. Now, that is really, really simple. With few uh, steps, I was able to do the formatting. And now if I save it, uh, that's going to save the uh, formatting for this particular view. The same options are available for um, the columns as well. Let's say if you have a priority, for example, I can format this column. For this particular thing, I can say if priority is equal to one, um, I'm going to say more styles, and I get more support here because it's a number column. I get icons and borders as well, and because it's not a view, I can apply this styling for specific columns. So I can mark this as very important, right? And I can also make this, um, I don't know, let's make it purple. And I can save this. So that's one rule. I can have if priority is equal to two. Similarly, I can select another um, icon, right? So it's really simple to now configure these rules and have them show up in, in your uh, view formatters. Now, the another thing we were talking about was the ability to show hide columns. So when you have the feature, if you go to the edit form, you'll now see two options. One is show hide and one is customize the power apps. So obviously, customize the power apps will take you to the power apps. Let's look at show hide columns. So now I can simply rearrange uh, the columns very easily here. Uh, that will apply to the list form, which is out-of-the-box form. And I can also see, uh, you can also see that I already have two things um, hidden. Title is required, so you can't hide it or uh, show because it's a required field. But priority contact has a condition. And the condition is really simple. It uses the Excel uh, style formulas. And it says if uh, priority uh, is equal to one, show the field. If not, don't show the field. It's really, really simple targeting uh, a very uh, straightforward scenario. What is the condition and what am I supposed to do, which is true or false? True means we'll show the column, false means we'll hide the column. So with that in place, you can see that now I have the ability to, if I edit this item, the priority is three. Obviously, I'm missing a column. As soon as I type one, and move away, you can see I got the priority contact column. Again, I'm typing two and tab. You can see the column go away. If I type one tab, I see the column come back, right? So it's really simple uh, expression, which is Excel expressions that you can use to do this. Also, you can see the team size. It's something maybe you're doing it through a flow or some other means. You really don't want people to enter it. You might figure it out and do it. So if you don't want to show that, you can go and just take it out and then save it. Um, and now the team uh, size will go away from the form. So uh, these are the simple uh, customization options uh, we are doing in uh, the list out of the box forms. And what we are trying to also work with Power Apps integration piece is that uh, when you do customize with Power Apps, we are bringing all of these settings uh, right now, except the condition, if you have reorder or show height fields, we will respect that and also have that uh, brought into the custom forms when you click customize with Power Apps. And that's what we mean when we talk about Continuum, right? We give the abilities out of the box, and when you go and build an integrated solution, we take those settings and, and, and drop you with the same place uh, where the custom form is set up so that any user can go do it, and then you bring in uh, some consultants or even yourself going and doing customized power apps. You can uh, start with the same settings that you had in the out-of-the-box form. So that's the demo for uh, simple customization.